Greetings once again, my friends, and Happy New Year. Happy 2017. I'm so happy that uh, we have a brand spanking new, in front of, uh, new year in front of us. But before we start celebrating that concept, um, I do want to actually take, it, take some time and thank you guys for the amazing year that I had previously. I find it funny that a lot of the YouTubers, or a lot of the YouTube community, was coming out and saying we can't wait for 2016 to end mainly because of all the celebrity deaths the political climate all that stuff and today i honestly can say that i am not in that camp and the main reason that i'm not there is that to me uh it's actually been a fairly good year i haven't really worried too much about the political climate the celebrity deaths have been depressing but you know life goes on and I will miss people like Alan Rickman and Prince and Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds. But I had to look back and honestly say, was this a bad year for me? And really, it hasn't been um, in, in, in two crucial ways. My channel has flourished uh, as far as I'm concerned on, on this year. Uh, I barely started this year with maybe 60 subscribers, 60, 65 subscribers, and now I'll, I'm all the way up to almost 115. Um, so that's been amazing to be able to happen. Uh, I've been able to get numerous playthroughs done. I was able to get uh, Final Fantasy V done and then move on into Final Fantasy VI, and we're actually getting ready to finish that up. Uh, last year, I began doing Let's Plays with my, or I think that, yeah, I believe it was last year, probably the year before, where I began Let's Plays with my wife, and that is flourishing as well. You guys love it when we play things like The Order 1886 and God of War, and uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of the one that was before, and the King's Quest games. Um, that's been amazing to be able to see you guys appreciate that just as much as we appreciate putting it out for you. This has also been another major year um, where just barely before the year began, uh, I started up reviews with my first ever review of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. And even though I'm not done with 2016's reviews, um, you guys have been very positive and very warming uh, to me doing reviews. I was always worried about that because I didn't know if you guys were going to appreciate my opinions. I'm not a mainstream opinion. I don't usually agree with the mainstream sites on certain games. Like, the best example that I can give this year is Mighty Number no. 9. Everybody was ready to toss, toss that out the door, and I wasn't. I, I wanted to take the time and actually say, okay, well, if we took all this controversy aside and treated it as just a brand new indie game that just hit the scene, would it be good or bad? And I can honestly say I'm, I'm in the minority when it came to those opinions. And I'm okay with that. Um, I was really worried about how the reviews were going to begin, and even though they're not done, I'm glad you guys have appreciated them. And I know some people have disagreed with my opinions, some people have disagreed with the way I do the reviews, but that's okay. Because we're going to be, in 2017, we're going to be uh, tooling a little bit of both, so we can ac we can accommodate for, for you guys as well. I started a bunch of brand new series on the channel. Um, I basically went from being like a upload every Tuesday and Thursday kind of YouTube page, or YouTube channel, to I do two uploads every day. Monday through Friday. That's pretty amazing. Um, I went from doing, or I went from being uh, very negative about my viewpoints in World of Warcraft, uh, at least with the videos that I had, which wasn't much. I had talked about my thoughts on Warlords of Draenor, I talked about my thoughts on, um, and I had the positive video for Legion uh, after the Gamescom reveal, but then I went into Nostalrius, and that's if I were to actually say, like, that's if there was a lowest low this year, it would have been uh, my coverage of Nostalrius, which I get that some people are mad with, with my opinions and my viewpoint, but it is just that. It's my viewpoint. It's my opinion. You can have whatever opinion you want. Um, but because of Nostalrius, like, I'm not bitter about Nostalrius. Yes, I got to meet some very bitter people. But because of Nostalrius, it made me want to cover the positive end and why I love WoW, which gave birth to the Tale of Drakvu, Dungeons and Drakvus, uh, to the Legion beta coverage, which has done amazing on the channel, and I'm so happy about that. Um, so I can already pretty much tell you, by the time the next WoW expansion hits, I'm probably going to do that beta coverage too. 
so that's been amazing for me. Uh, and, and the fact that the WoW series have become a more regular thing. So much so that I have uh, a bunch of top 10 ideas that I want to be able to do for World of Warcraft. So that's been an awesome thing to have happen. This has been an amazing year for me. I've had growth on my own individual channel, but also on the Geek News podcast. My panelists have been able to see growth on their ends, as well as I've been able to see that on my end. Uh, new listeners coming to see the podcast also checking out our content. That's great. I'm, I'm always happy to hear about that. Um, in regards to Geek News, not only did we have a, a prosperous year for Geek News itself, I decided to retool Gaming with the Geeks so that I could give you guys a in more individual perspective of each of the panelists. We started with Brinton on Devil May Cry 3, which people loved. Uh, they, we then went to Alex, and we even brought Aunt, my wife Andrea into the mix, who people have been asking for a long time to bring her into the podcast. And it's not that I, I don't want to. It's that her work schedule doesn't really allow it, but we still, we still put her into the Gaming with the Geeks when we did Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, we also did a, a Gaming with Geeks for Alex and Romney, fulfilling a promise from Draken Shadow that we would take on the Metal Gear games, and Romney helped us out with that. And currently we're working on Gaming with the Geeks for Aldo, with him and me playing the, uh, the remake of the GameCube remake of Resident Evil. All of which have done really, really well, and I have you guys to thank for that. Um, so this has been an amazing year. This has been awesome in everything we've been able to do, and I've been... I get that some people are, are very annoyed about how 2016 ended up. I'm not there. This is probably the happiest I've been since I started the channel. And for that, I have you guys only to thank. Thank you to all the brand new subscribers. Thank you to all the people who have given my videos a chance. Whether you agreed or disagreed with me, you gave my videos a chance. Thank you to those who also gave me the constructive feedback that I needed to be able to move forward. And I always appreciate that from you guys. Um, so with that being said, where do I go from here? Um, I'm going to tell you I'm recording this on Sunday, January 1st. So New Year's Eve has already happened, and that marked the end of my, ho my holiday break. This is going to be kind of the last day, and then I'm back to my regular schedule again. So what comes in 2017? Well, first of all, the active schedule returns. Um, so you guys can expect uh, Monday morning or Monday morning to be able to get a brand new Tale of Drakfu, which is appropriate now because we're, we're in Wrath of the Lich King content. We just barely started that. And so that also kind of marks a beginning there. Um, people have already been asking what happens after the Tale of Drakfu? Because, you know, you can only go as far as Legion, right? Yeah. That's that, that's not really a worry for me, but since the Tale of Drakfu has done so well, I've always gotten requests for MMOs to, to cover them. So I think it's only appropriate that when we're done with the Tale of Drakfu, maybe what replaces it is covering a brand new MMO. I've got numerous requests for Final Fantasy XI, Final Fantasy XIV, um, Star Wars The Old Republic. I think I've got a Rift one now. Um, somebody actually did also recommend Star Trek Online. I don't even know if I can make that work. Uh, but at least I can look into that for you guys. So that's probably what's going to replace the Tale of Drakfu when it eventually ends. Dungeons and Drakfus, what happens with that? Like, are you going to cover instances and MMOs? I'm not sure yet. I'm not trying to be a dork with that concept, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to cover instances because I don't know what's soloable and what isn't. Especially with, like, Final Fantasy XI. The stuff that I'm going to be able to play in that game is going to be a solo effort. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover all of the stuff that that people would want from Final Fantasy XI, but I will cover as much as I can, and I will, I'll try and make it work out as much as possible. Dungeons and Drakfus is more of just a coupling of the tale of Drakfu. I can, I consider it part of that. Uh, just because the dungeons do also have a lot of awesome lore, and I want to be able to explore that with you. But, I also do want to do that in some of the other MMOs, so if I can make it work, I'm sure as hell going to. Uh, so with that, we, we have the Dungeons and Drakfus con uh, continuing on. Currently, me and Andrea are playing through God of War, the original God of War, in not necessarily preparation of the new one. We just wanted to take on the series, but now that that's coming out, that's amazing. Uh, as far as the reviews are concerned, they are still con they are still going on. Um, and the, re the main thing that's going to change with it is that 2016, I took on way too many reviews. And it became very, very, as you guys can see, very, very difficult for me to get those things out on a regular basis, especially when I moved up to an active schedule. So what's going to happen is I'm going to lessen my review stock 
and maybe some games that I'm really interested in I won't necessarily review, but I might vlog about. Um, so instead of like getting a vlog review, you'll just get a Drac vlogs on my opinions of, uh, for example, For Honor. I, that's not accurate because For Honor is going to get a review, but like that's what I would do. I would just give you a vlog on For Honor and, and go over my thoughts on it. It wouldn't be an official review. Uh, because those are a little bit easier to put out. I don't have to formalize them or anything like that. As far as the review format is concerned, uh, people have liked the, the review vlog. I know a lot of people haven't, but a lot of people have. So we are keeping that format. But maybe what we'll do is, is for the, some of the bigger releases, you will get a formal review where I will do like the, the full-on treatment like I did with Legacy of the Void uh, or uh, Uncharted 4, where you're going to get that. So reviews aren't going anywhere. It's just the format is going to change a little bit. And also in regards to reviews, uh, I'm going to finish those up in the next couple of weeks, and then you will get my top 10 games of 2016, top 10 disappointing games of 2016, and then top 5 expansions of 2016. Yeah, I know, that's going to be prominently dominated by Blizzard games, but I'm not necessarily disappointed by that. Um, so that's going to be another thing. Reviews are going to continue on. Vlogs are going to continue on. Uh, I already have said that since people have liked the Luke, Cl the Luke Cage vlogs, uh, I will be doing uh, TV vlogs on Season 2 of Voltron Legendary Defender, and I would also uh, be interested in doing a vlog for Iron Fist when that eventually comes out, and maybe even the Defenders. So that's going to be happening as well. The only major change that I'm going to say with all of these uploads is um, I am changing my upload schedule just a little bit. And if people are also fans of Draken Shadow, you'll kind of see where I'm, I'm going here. Uh, occasionally with uploads, I am you I can be lucky and get like maybe a 20-minute upload, 20-minute processing, and I'm okay. But then there are also some times where I get a full-on hour to upload because my internet's not working out very well or something. Um, and I need to accommodate for that. So the way that I'm going to accommodate is that I'm changing my first upload of the day's time. Instead of uploading at 10 a.m. my time, I'm now going to start uploading at noon. And that way you'll get a two-hour difference between the, the two videos. Uh, that should give you enough time to go check out Tale of Drakfu and then move over to Dungeons & Drakfu's on Monday. Or whatever is going on on that given day. Um, so I don't think that's going to change too much for you guys. You still will get your two videos a day. And uh, it, it's just going to be easier for me because sometimes I have to upload these things in the morning. Because uh, I don't want to have these things uploading for like two hours at night. Uh, so that's going to be another thing. Drac Tries is staying. In fact, I actually do have another episode of Drac Tries recorded with the Shadow Blazer. So you guys can look forward to that in the next little bit. Uh, let's see. Are there any other major changes? Oh, yes. Uh, the other thing I wanted to get into was the live streams. They're staying, but they're also staying in the in the way that I'm doing them right now, um, where they're more of a surprise kind of deal. I know some people want live stream games to return, but it's it's a cumbersome process, and occasionally I can't even get my hardware to work for it. So I may have to hold back on those for the moment. Uh, I know that's a I know that irritates some, and and to those people, I apologize. But it just it's working out better to not have to do a live stream, instead taking that content and putting it somewhere else. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing with that. As for, uh, but the other thing I also want to announce is like 2017, I also have a bunch of other things in store. Uh, if, in case people didn't know, Harvest, or uh, not Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley came out for consoles. And I've been playing it pretty much nonstop. It's usually my end of the day game where I just sit back and relax. And so I have a feeling that Stardew Valley is going to return a little bit, except I'm going to do something more along the lines of a monthly check-in. You guys can see where my farm is at in that case, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do like an, uh, a, a regular Let's Play out of it, because that's not really the easiest thing to make work. But monthly check-ins for the Stardew Valley fans, uh, I already know a few of you guys like that idea, so I'm going to go with that and we'll see how that works out. The other thing too that's going to happen is, and I'm very excited to announce this, Due to the anniversary, the 20th anniversary of Diablo, we're going to be having some fun and going into uh, Diablo for the next couple of months. Uh, we're going to start things off. Unfortunately, I can't make Diablo 1 work because I just don't, I have a PC that's too far advanced ahead of it, and Blizzard, unfortunately, doesn't update it anymore. So what we're going to do is, for Diablo 1, we're going to cover the Darkening of Tristram event in Diablo 3. 
so you guys can check that out. And then eventually I'm going to move on to Diablo 2, which is still supported by Blizzard, and we'll play through that, and then we'll go through Diablo 3 and its expansions, and uh, we'll, we'll make something out of that too, because I would really like to be able to cover the, uh, the Diablo games. I'm a new fan to it, and I'm, I enjoy the living heck out of it. So that's going to be happening as well. For Geek News, uh, the main changes that's going to happen are... Uh, Geek News will continue on, the podcast will continue on, but there's going to be a little sub-branch that's going to start this year called Why We Geek. And it's not going to be a regular thing, it's going to be whatever I can make work. Uh, but Why We Geek is going to be a little sub-podcast where I tackle a specific element of geek culture, uh, with a panel. And we just discuss why we love this particular branch of geek. So, like, for example, Star Wars would be an episode that we would do of Why We Geek. Star Trek... Uh, anime. We may even break up anime into many, many, many different genres. You know, go into giant robots, go into magical girls, go into demon or demon shows, things like that. And that's why we geek, what why we geek is going to cover. With that, we're also going to be bringing in a lot more guest hosts or guest panelists into why we geek for those particular uh, formats. I think that's a little bit more uh, appropriate. Now, as far as, like, things like E3, those will still stay on Geek News, but maybe we'll go into, like, the bigger announcements of E3 and cover them with a Why We Geek panel. So that's going to be happening. Uh, Gaming with the Geeks is going to continue. Obviously, me and Aldo aren't done with Resident Evil. That's going to happen. But you guys have been asking for so many more games, so I have a feeling we're going to be recording a bunch more. I'm already talking to each of those panelists on various other games that we can make work but more within our schedule, not as strapped as we were when we did it last year. Uh, for example, me and Brenton have been talking, and we may be getting together very soon, uh, now that he's got a little bit more schedule freed up, to start up maybe another Devil May Cry game, maybe something else. You guys will see in a little bit. But those are some of the major announcements that I have for 2017, and holy crap, I've been talking to you guys for 20 minutes. Um, this is going to be a good year. This is going to be an amazing year for, for my channel, for me, um, and I have you guys to thank that I can do what I'm so passionate about on an everyday basis. Thank you guys so much for all that you do to contribute to my channel. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, continuing to refer me to your friends and family. I always love that, um, because I want to make this as inclusive an environment as I can for everybody. For some people that may not work, but I try to make it work for as many as I can. And for that... I'm just a lowly geek on the internet who's looking to get these things out there. It's you guys that do the work for me. I, I may put out the videos, but you guys are the ones that watch it, that give me that feedback, and help me to continue to learn and grow. And so at that point, I have you guys to thank so much for how awesome this year has been for me. And it only gets better from here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as we resume the active schedule once again. Happy New Year.